is up guys sorry i haven't been able to post any videos for about three weeks we're currently in a burn ban here in oregon so that means no shooting for us so in order to push out some content i am just going to do a quick review on my ar-15 my very first ar-15 that i ever had so um quickly here we've got an arrow precision lower and a diamondback firearms upper i don't know it says right there DB 556 five, and it's kind of just going to be a overall review on how these parts are working how they've been doing and all that oh just to show you it is clear no mag nothing in the chamber all right let's disassemble her real quick disassembles really nicely my dad also has an AR that he built at the same time as me, and his disassembles way worse. I don't know exactly what his upper is, but it's not the same as mine. But just to start out with the upper here, you've got a FDE upper. My favorite part about it is honestly this little V-cut. I don't know why. I'm just in love with it. Makes the whole package pretty much my favorite thing on this planet. So, shout out with the bolt carrier looking pretty good here nothing is going on with it extractor looks fine it has never had one single malfunction feeding wise the only malfunction that I have had was with the lower which I will explain on in a little bit this is a little bit dirty I haven't cleaned it in a little while but the bolt carrier is totally fine functions just fine and amazingly I'll disassemble this here in just one second everything else about it is fine the barrel is a-okay nothing wrong with it functions flawlessly I am in love with it for the bolt carrier let's see if I can do this with my fingers or if I have to get a knife definitely gonna need a knife pause okay back I've got a knife my Smith & Wesson knife Probably do a review on this guy in a little while. Okay, got our firing pin. Very black, definitely needs cleaning, which I might even do on this video just to maybe give you a little bit more content. Turn our cam pin. Bolt, extremely dirty. Put about, oh, I don't even know. There's probably about 1,500 rounds out of this AR so far. Not a single malfunction. I've cleaned it maybe three, four times. It is definitely in very good shape. Not very much wear. A little bit of silver right here. But other than that, I mean, it looks completely fine. Nothing seems to be wrong with it at all. Okay, so now moving on to my lower my arrow precision's lower to be exact I built this guy on my own it has the arrow precision's parts kit in it with just the regular standard lower so the only problem I have had was this trigger pin was walking out as we were shooting it on the 4th of July so just to resolve that I went and got anti-walk pins for both they are working flawlessly have not had a single malfunction since trigger is fine maybe I'm in love with this trigger too I don't think I will ever be replacing this until I build my next AR just a standard stock I got with it that will be replaced soon same with the pistol grip it's an A2 grip I'll be replacing that with FDE to match my upper so the whole package will be looking pretty good by the time I get it done and then hopefully by then I can buy my first pistol show you guys and then build another AR I have big plans for my next AR so um, yeah that's just a quick little review of it um, definitely worth the money if you're thinking about getting a Diamondback firearms upper they look sleek they're super thin in your hand they are amazing. I would definitely 10 out of 10 recommend these. I love this gun. Same with the Aero Precisions. I don't know if it was Aero Precisions fault 
or what it was with the pins walking out, but that is the only thing that has ha had issues with this entire AR. And there's about 1,500 rounds through it, so not a whole lot, but that's definitely a break-in period and good for no malfunctions. So, um, yeah, I think that'll have to wrap up the video for now. I was thinking about maybe doing a cleaning, but that's kind of boring, and all of you should know how to clean your ARs. So, um, yeah, until next time, hopefully, oh, yeah, forget to mention, I will be moving from Oregon to Idaho in the next two weeks. So there won't be a whole lot of content. Uh, I may go shoot my dad's new pistol, the CZ P10C. I'm going to go take that out, probably do a video on that. So that'll be coming up hopefully next week. But other than that, until I move to Idaho, I will not have too much shooting content. I have a good shooting range in Idaho. I grew up there, so I know the whole place. So that, that'll be pretty nice. But, um, yeah, that's just a quick update. Thank you guys for watching and keeping subscribed, even though I haven't posted in three weeks. And, um, yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.